Hi Sarah, so I wanted to go over a specific technique that I want you to use on every repetition of either the overhead reverse lunge or the bottoms up front squat. The thing that is universal about these two movements, a uh, couple things. One, it's there's both squat patterns. Two, there's uh, an offloaded position, so you've got the weight on one side of the body. Both of those things, the fact that it's a squat pattern when honestly you've had some struggles with your squat pattern in the past, and the fact that it's offloaded, both of those can contribute to the low back discomfort that you're feeling, but what I'm going to show you will hopefully uh, eliminate that low back discomfort. And it comes from starting the uh, exercise with an exhalation. So say I've got my bell overhead for my reverse lunge, there's a natural tendency to be in more lumbar extension when the bell is overhead. So I'm gonna take a deep breath in through my nose, and this is the technique here. And exhale. And hold the front of my rib cage closer to my pubic bone. So we can see that that actually changes the position of my lumbar spine. Now, I'm gonna maintain that position, take another breath in, and then perform my reverse lunge. So while I've used an exhalation to get into position, same thing with the front squat, I'm not gonna hold my breath out, I'm gonna breathe in again, but just not let it change my position as I perform my front squat without losing that position and getting back into hyperextension. It takes some extra focus, but these are both lightly loaded exercises. If you need to decrease the rep count in order to use this technique, uh, please do so. It's more about solidifying your technique and making sure that your spine feels comfortable uh, than it is about getting all the volume in. I'd rather have a few very high quality reps than a lot of reps where the quality is questionable and you end up with discomfort. Thank you.